Only someone with a secret wife would say that? Yeah, dude, totally. Speaking of fucking uh, parasocial shit, look at this. Not like some fucking, it, 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 it. Oh, yeah, I know you're not a thief. I know you're not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where's salary at? Where's the what? Salary. Um, he, he, he says, tell him, put the money on the table. Who said that? Apparently, XQC and Aiden Ross went on a double date or something, and now his community has fucking lost their minds. Some guy with a hat and the glasses. Hat glasses. He thinks he looks cool, but he doesn't. Uh, he, he lives really in the room that has the mattress on, on, on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you then. Uh, I'm not like some fucking. It, 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 oh, yeah, I know you're not a thief. I know you're not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Try him so. He's memeing. Anyway, I haven't, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, been following the fucking memes and what's going on. But from what I understand, people have, like, lost their minds or some shit in XQC's fan base. And people are saying, like, crazy wild shit. Let this 27-year-old man do what the fuck he wants to do, please. He's not a baby. Okay. I know a lot of you want to think he's a baby. I know a lot of you want to act like he's a baby. Let the fucking dude fuck whoever he wants. As long as he's not hurting anybody, as long as he's not being a fucking dickhead, who gives a shit? The whole night, swimming in the pool, getting drunk, and I don't even remember half this shit. I don't remember half the fucking nights. Well, everybody was complaining and molding and writing like hate comments or some shit, writing stories, and I, I'm comfortable. I'm, bro, I was just swimming in the pool, and then I was sleeping. Like, you act like this is like some sort of like defense mechanism. It's weird to see like everybody like try to live for me, feel for me, think for me, want to act for me. Like, it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just a weird, like insane realm where everybody's trying to do everything for me. It's like, brother, I'm right here, man. Like, what's up? We're chilling. Like, holy fuck. Like, I don't even know what's happening anymore. It's insane. It's like, it's like, Everybody, like, is just This fucking dumbest community went wild because of this? Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's saying he's not in a relationship, his juices can't comprehend it. It's fucking insane. Parasocial levels peak. Let's take a look. Troll despair speedrun any percentage glitch list. If you did this on stream, Twitter would be trying to cancel you. I mean, I guess. I don't even know why this is cancelable personally. Like I, I it's just like it's pretty basic, you know, light smut, right? It's in the words of uh, our Lord and Savior Train Rex, shamelessness. Okay. That's what it is. And by the way, I have no issue with that. You guys know my perspective on smut. I literally am ride or die for the fucking hot tub meta, okay? I don't give a fuck. That's fine. But maybe that's the difference between me and like all these other fucking Twitch content consumers who literally act like they're above the hot tub shit, but then when their favorite content creators are basically engaging in it, then it's like cool and chill and whatever. I think it's chill across the board, but this itself is, of course, you know, it's, it's, it's light smut and there's nothing wrong with that. We should put the kids back in the coal mines. This is too much for me. Yes. The children yearn for the mines. <laughs> But like, why are they mad? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? I mean, he's just fucking blasted. He's zooted. He's faded off the Benjamin. He is smacking tin the fucking Benjamin, dude. He is in Blinker City. All right. That doesn't mean he's a fucking cuck now. He's just in Yodi Land. He, he's uh, probably trying to enjoy himself. They think she's not good for him because she was kissing girls that night. Are people even mad? Dude, what the fuck? 
listen, brother, you're like a 14 year old kid on the internet and probably a virgin. Like, let the dude do whatever the fuck he wants to do. Who gives a shit? What do you mean? That doesn't mean he's a fucking a cuck. Why would people be mad? I can't tell if you guys are fucking with me or not. Like, they, they must be in on the meme, right? Like, they're all joking. Like, they're like, haha, we're parasocial. But, like, also, maybe half the chat is unironically parasocial. Like, what's going on? No, half the chat is parasocial. It's crazy, bro. Look through his Reddit. They're basically blaming him for making them parasocial. Bro, this has 10K upvotes. What the fuck is going on? Past few XGG streams. Fulcrum, come in, shall we? I'm British. I'm wet. I'm British. I'm wet. I'm British. I'm wet. What is that? I don't even know what this means. That video is funny, though. Yeah, that video is funny. Unless people are, like, taking it seriously. Don't let Paris Post to distract you from the fact that Mess I is finally going to win the World Cup, Pac-Man. Actually, in 10 years after losing his seventh house to his 45th girlfriend, aware? Jesus Christ, dude. Why are you clipping something that I just said on the stream? Nobody is mad. People are just calling him out for being mad at Chatters, talking about his private life. When he's literally streaming and farming it, law. Okay. Here are a couple things I need to say here. Okay. That's crazy. You're crazy. A content creator can show you certain parts of their fucking lives. I think some of them go too far. I've talked to XC about this before. I think like the conversation between him and Adept on camera, that was not good. That was not a good idea. Okay. But like ultimately it is wild to be like, you made me this way. When you are describing yourself being unwell, it's just an abdication of responsibility. You're basically saying like, I'm fucking unhinged mentally, dog, and that's your fault. You did that to me. If you recognize that there is a component there, if you recognize that you're behaving in this like psychotic way, then also, you know, stop it. What the fuck? Intense jealousy of someone you don't know and not knowing how to lash out. I just don't get that. I don't understand that. She's an attractive streamer. He's a pretty average looking dude. His living chats fantasy is triggering them. No, first of all, I think XUC is a good looking dude. I have maintained this position for a very long time. Yeah, he's skinny, but like, he's a good looking dude. He is. He's a good looking dude. And it's not because he's like uh, at the tippy top of the platform or anything like that. He is literally, he's a good looking dude. Dude, it's like people can't let content creators look awkward for a second or let them space out. I could never do this. XG gave her position. Aiden gave her permission. Sky gave her permission. Do you know who she didn't ask for permission? You. <laughs> Actually, basically, people here on LS ever acting like parasocial insults. These people don't know you. You don't have a say in their boundaries or the rules they set for their relationship. Go the fuck up. Go the fuck up and... Act like adults. They're projecting their own relationship values onto him. It's super weird. So what's the what's what's happening? Like people are mad that he like let this girl that he is like hooking up with uh, kiss another girl or something. Also, what do you mean let? You know what I mean? He is establishing the boundaries that he's comfortable with, but ultimately, like they're mad at him. I'm just chilling. I don't. Know. The most parasocial juicer pokey sad. Yeah, he's skinny. You're acting like girls don't like skinny guys. Pete Davidson and MGK. No, they do. They really do. He says she's not his girlfriend and that dating doesn't mean a relationship and chat fucking lost it. Um, so that's what it is. Um, like they're saying like, she's not good for you, Felix. I love you. Like I'm good for you. You shouldn't. XUC explaining why he isn't in a relationship yet. What? Dude, what is happening? Because 
bro, we've lost. We've lost. It's over. It's so over, dude. You have, you have a fucking goblin, a 27-year-old toenail-eating goblin having to describe basic concepts like fucking, dating, and being in a full-blown relationship to a bunch of dudes who have even less awareness than he does. It's over, brother. TikTok has ruined a generation. China has won. Okay? That's crazy. And you know what? He'll describe it in the most Pepega way he can. No, not the ideas behind it, but like the speech that he will uh, uh, describe it with will come across as Pepegan. And yet, most motherfuckers will still not understand it. Let's take a look. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad because the boundaries and the expectations that you have from this one to this one are major. From this one to this one, it's major. From this one to this one, every step has its own things, right? And they're all important. And you guys saying, dude, dude, you're in a relationship, man. You should have the boundaries of this, this, this. Yeah, you're right. But I'm not here. I'm here. And this is different than this. How is this that they start to understand? When we, like, can people, under, when people understand this? That's how it works. Okay. It's not hard for them to fail to comprehend this because they've never, exp like, you're talking to dudes who probably never leave their rooms. Or children. Also, I have no idea what 120 is. How does relationship come before dating? Oh, it's half dating. Excuse me, does more serious theory streams than you? This is pretty funny. Um, like you can go on dates with someone. Okay. You can go on dates with someone and you're just like hooking up. You can also have friends with benefits here. Here's how this works. First, you open up paint. Okay. Here's how this works. First, you meet someone. Okay. This is level one. You met them. Okay. Then you immediately have sex with them. Okay. Immediately after meeting them. Then their mom walks in while you guys are having sex. Okay? This is a classic situation. Everyone, in, everyone has been in this situation. It's a classic situation, okay? Then you're having a threesome. The mom is now involved, okay? Then the dad walks in, okay? Now, this is an interesting predicament because... When the dad walks in, the dad's like, whoa, what the fuck? You're fucking my daughter and my wife, okay? What are you going to do? Now, some people will say it's for some time, okay? Or you can just escape the situation when the dad walks in. Uh, hopefully, you still have your, like, underwear half on so you can pull it up as you're running out the door, okay? And then the mom tells the book club, about the situation that took place. So now you're letting the whole book club hit, okay? It's book club time. Classic quadruple bind turning into a uh, elevensome. It's, yeah, MILF City, also known as MILF City. Simple. What? I mean, I don't understand. You get it, right? It's like pretty, pretty basic stuff. I mean, this is like... What? You can also, this stage is important though, because you can fuck the dad too. Like, it's called a bi moment. Okay? 
if you let the dad hit or if you hit the dad, then you deviate away from the escape and then you go into orgy directly. Yeah. It's like a dialogue option. Okay, all jokes aside, though. All jokes aside. Wait, how do you fucking select all? How does this work? Let's delete everything here. Um, how would I, how would I describe it? How would I describe this? How would I describe it? I mean, first stage is meeting, right? You meet the person, then, um, you maybe go on dates. I don't know. You just like, you can meet the person, you get to know them better. Then you start going on dates potentially for everyone. This is different. Sometimes you meet the person and then you fuck them. Okay. And then you have a fuck buddy. Okay. This is if you meet the person and you fuck them like fairly quickly, you can, that relationship can go and, and progress from there on. Okay. But this is usually the fuck buddy route. Okay. It's a mutually beneficial, mutually consensual relationship built on respect and boundaries. That's how it works. Now, these are tricky situations that can turn into one side wanting to, to uh, get more out of this relationship than the other, okay? Oftentimes, that's how it ends. Sometimes it has the capacity to end that way, and other times it has the capacity to develop into a serious and mutually, uh, you know, monogamous relationship. Okay, here, mono. Funny how you found horse pictures for relationships? Wait, what? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. Or you meet them, you meet a person, and then you go on a date with them, and then you go on a couple dates with them, and then you start having sex with them, okay? And then you're you're basically going on dates, but you're a little bit more serious, okay? Depending on what, and, and conversation is the key element here, always, Okay. Depending on what the conversations are, what the boundaries that you predetermined are, okay, you can either be, you can either be uh, uh, in a, you know, non-exclusive, or exclusive. Uh, like half relationship. You know what I mean? You could, this is still not like, this is my girlfriend, okay? Or this is my boyfriend level, okay? But you have a conversation oftentimes in my experience uh, that is led by uh, my partners, at least in the past, called DTR, okay? That's the main component here. You go from like dating and hooking up to what is known as DTR. At a certain point in your life, if you are around another person that you are no longer platonically involved in, they are going to DTR you. It's called define the relationship, okay? No, not down to raw dog, not down to rotate, define the relationship. What are we? DTR can also no, also be known as what are we okay i fucked that a up but you you get the point here okay after that conversation takes place you go into either non-exclusive or an exclusive relationship this basically is boyfriend girlfriend there can also be a another step here that like you know 
publicly out and about boyfriend, girlfriend, like you're officially dating in a relationship, there can be one additional step here between the exclusivity and boyfriend, girlfriend. And non-exclusive relationships can turn into another DTR times two. And turn into, uh, you know, an exclusive relationship, DTR times two. Once you do the define the relationship again, you make an assessment on whether you want to continue with this person and you like them enough. And then you go into an exclusive relationship. And then after that, you usually will progress towards a boyfriend, girlfriend, mono or polyamorous relationship. There it is. That's how this works. Okay? I don't know where the fuck XQC is on this scale. But if he's saying he's like hooking up with someone and they're not in a relationship, so they would probably land around here somewhere. But guess what's really important about that? Okay? You want to know what's important about that? Uh, here's what it is. It's none of your business. Okay? What he shows you is fine. That's it. That's your content. You saw it. You made up your mind about it, whatever. But if your goal is to go beyond that and give advice to a dude who's 27 years old, who probably surprisingly, and I mean this surprisingly because he's a goblin, more life experience than you, then don't do it. Okay? XQC frogs jealous. They don't have them all to themselves. It's kind of funny, to be honest. And even in this step, even if he was in the relationship step, his boundaries might be different than yours, okay? He might not personally care if, uh, you know, he's in an open relationship. He might be in a polyamorous relationship where he's, like, fine with his girlfriend hooking up if they had a girlfriend, Okay? If he actually had a girlfriend, if he was like legit in a relationship, he could be perfectly fine with being in a polyamorous relationship. He could be uh, with a bisexual person who wants to hook up with girls as well. He might be comfortable with that. Maybe he wants to have threesomes. Like these are all things that are open to interpretation and deeply personal things. So if he's not talking about that with you, then you don't, you shouldn't be making inferences or speculating on it. And worse than that, worse than that, Telling him what the guidelines are for you. Because nobody fucking gives a shit what your opinion is. Okay? What's the difference between dating and a relationship? I think, like, the way that he's using relationship here and the way that some people use it is, like, that is a out and about, like, this is my girlfriend. We're in a, we're in a monogamous relationship relationship. Whereas dating is, like, you're just fucking around. And dating can go non-exclusive and dating can go exclusive, which then ultimately... Uh, evolves into a complete relationship. Yeah, this is Khan Academy for the unfuckables. But you can be going on dates for multiple... Oh. Okay, well, this is where it's coming from. Okay, dude, that's insane. Okay, never mind. If his editors or XUC's YouTube channel is saying, I got a girlfriend, my girlfriend kissed another girl, streamers react to my kiss, then yeah. Yeah, of course, you have a fucking audience of like 12-year-olds. What the fuck are these guys doing? Oh, my Lord. He said other people were clickbaiting him and trying to farm off of it, so he told his editors to farm it himself. Bro, that is insane. You went on a whole ass rant just to be shown what was really up? No, this, is, this offers culpability on XQC's side. Okay? Like, this makes him a little bit more culpable, but ultimately it's still the people who are going fucking crazy. Like... Just because he said he has a fucking girlfriend doesn't mean you can still go, oh, well, you're not allowed to do this with your girlfriend. Do you understand what I'm saying? Everything I said is still the same. This just makes him, you know, uh, farm it harder, which, you know, I wouldn't do. And I do think that this is uh, not good because you will have a lot of fucking parasocial people like this. Okay? 
ultimately, but uh, it's still not his fault that people are behaving in a parasocial way. Ultimately, it's the parasocial people that are behaving in a parasocial way, which shouldn't be doing that. Okay? The juicers will not heed your message, sire. Yeah, I know. What is this? Jesus Christ, what are you doing in my car? I can drive. How did you just send me this? Okay, anyway. Well, now that we learned this. Is that what works? Hopefully there's some valuable lessons for the juicers here. Sounds better. Boom. Where does that go from a roommate? That makes sense. Holy fuck, people actually agree. Holy fuck. Holy shit. People actually agree. What? Ta-da. Boom. Where does that go from a roommate? That makes sense. Holy fuck, people actually agree. Holy fuck. Holy shit. People actually agree. Okay. And then, in my opinion, right? You know, Chad, the girl that, that I, I dated when I was in Quebec, right? Remember the chat when I was texting you? I'm not gonna lie, normally I'm pretty good at comprehending Pepegon. I have no fucking clue what he said there. Like, I, I don't even know what he said there. I'm so sorry. I failed you. I straight up fucking failed you. That's like the first time. <sighs> biggest non-English streamer on the platform, by the way. I mean, it's true. He is the biggest non-English streamer on the platform. Ah, he's not. Remember the girl I was seeing when I was in Quebec? I was texting her and clip stops. Oh. He said, step above roommate like the meme. Oh, okay. Yes, I saw Elon Musk is mad about the fucking uh, parody accounts. Okay, I saw it. Wait, what was this? I'm right here, man. Like, what's up? We're chilling. Like, holy fuck. Like, I don't even know what's happening anymore. It's insane. It's like, it's like everybody, like, He's just trying to dictate everything. Even the way I'm feeling, talking, and the way I'm responding to things. Like, dude, that, that's cope. Dude, that didn't happen. Bro, I spent the whole night swimming in the pool, getting drunk, and I don't even remember half this shit. I remember half the fucking night. Yeah. Well, everybody was complaining. You post this shit on your YouTube? What is this? Bro, it doesn't give you fucking... I don't understand, bro. Like... People are still being fucking parasocial and being like, you should feel mad about this. Come on. When he's saying, don't be fucking mad about this. I'm not in a fucking serious relationship. Like, you guys are being crazy. And you're literally going, I don't care. He posted it on his fucking YouTube, which means it's open sesame, open season for me. I'm going to go fucking town. You're making me parasocial. Stop. Jesus Christ. You dating, dating, you explaining dating the juicers? He basically said that his title saying XQC dies laughing does not mean he actually died and that they should take the titles the same way as that. I just don't get why people fucking uh, behave this way. Like, you're literally... You're, you're, your behavior is part of the reason why content creators don't fucking... Uh, uh, are not more open about their existence and are not more open about their relationships and shit. Like, Literally. That's it. That is crazy. Hassan, they are children? No, there's plenty of fucking adults, even adults in here, that are behaving this way. 
I prefer to not get cheated on. If my girl touched another girl, I'd leave her ass. <laughs> Anyway. It ain't just ACO Hassan gets this shit too. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, non-fucking stop. And it's very frustrating. And it's very annoying. Um, I hate it. Um, Speaking of Aiden, actually he did die in one of those videos. I brought him back to life. Speaking of Aiden, he was like popping off apparently. <laughs> I mean, half of this shit is just content, which is funny if you see it as content. Like, if you make an anime music video about it, it's like, it's contextually, it could be really funny if you're not serious about it. But I don't think people just take this as like, lol, we're just memeing, okay? I think people underneath it is literally like, oh my God, she's cheating on my juicer, okay? That's the difference. Because people can't fucking have fun. They just go insane. They go bananas mode on everything. I can't unsee this content because people take it too seriously. I mean, I've been so far removed from all the shit that's been happening on the platform for the past, like, couple of weeks now, I feel like, that I just, I only saw, like, brief mentions here and there of people coming into my chat to be like, did you see my juicer kiss a girl? My juicer, my juicer kissed a girl. And I, and I thought you guys were like fucking joking. Like I, I, I at first thought like everyone was like, lol, we're being parasocial. Ha ha. Like as a joke. And now I'm beginning to realize like, no, it wasn't a fucking joke. Like there's a hell of people who were literally like, I know how you should live your life. And you're not living it by my expectations and my standards. Which is fucking crazy. Wait, someone tried to rationalize it. Hold on. It's because you've never been cheated on. Skull emoji, skull emoji. Why are you posting your fucking L's in the chat? <laughs> People come in here and post their fucking L's in the chat like it's a virtue, dog. What the fuck? My man came in here and said, my wife left me. <laughs> my juicer is 100% real and true. Brenda, come back. My wife left me. How often do you eat out? Every night. I eat out your mom. Fucking got him. Especially at the top of the hour when there's a 60 second ad break. Oh my God. Double got him. What the fuck is happening, dude? Quadruple fucking got him. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for five fucking dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime, baby. By connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you get one free Prime subscription a month. Dynamic Jab 13. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Allowing five billion dollars to the ass. Here's the one minute ad break now. Woo!